Hi guys, in today's video, we'll see how to write a professional email. Well, let me tell you, I'm not a professional for this content. But because of your demand, I'm here to share some of the basic knowledge of writing email. And this video is based on my understanding in writing emails and this could help you to avoid some mistake which I used to do while I started writing emails. So we'll cover some basic context of email writing and see what to avoid and what is the correct way to present your context in writing emails. But before that, let me share a few announcements and then we'll start with the video. Okay? If you are preparing for GATE and ESE, then this is for you. An Academy is going to start three new batches for GATE and ESE preparation from 10th of November. And these batches are for CS background, mechanic, CS branch, mechanical branch and civil engineering. You can check out the detail about the syllabus they are going to cover and everything about these batches. I'll provide all the links in the description box. You can go ahead and check it out. And guess what? If you are using the coupon code TEL10, then you can get 10% discount on your subscription. So, instead of paying 32,450, you just have to pay 29,205. Isn't this interesting? So guys, go ahead and check it out. Those who are preparing for GATE 2023. In addition to this, if you are enrolling the ultimate scholarship test for GATE and ESE, then you can get chance to win up to 100% scholarship. Yes, up to 100%. You just need to compete with thousands of learners and stand a chance to win up to 100% scholarship. And that too, you can enroll it free of cost if you are using the coupon code TEL10. It's going to be a live test having 20 questions and 60 minutes. One more thing, if you are subscribing for 3 months of Unacademy Gate and ESC Plus subscription, you can get extra 1 month. Check out this for more detail. All links are there in the description. Please go ahead and check it out. Now, let's proceed with this video. Now, let's get started. So guys, what could be the basic context for writing an email? It could be maybe you're asking for some information or maybe you are providing some, some information or it could be some direct kind of communication or some kind of invitation. These are the basic context of email writing, right? We'll see how to write a formal email. We'll compare how to write a formal email while comparing it with informal way of writing. Now let's think about some uh, providing information kind of context. So if you are providing some information, make sure you're starting your email like, I'm writing to let you know that, or we are able to confirm that, or I am delighted to tell you that, or we regret to inform you that, XYZ. What is the informal way of the same context? The informal way could be just one note to say or we can confirm that good news. Unfortunately, these are not the right word to start your uh, information kind of context mail. Now, suppose you are attaching some file into the email then how would you write it here is the report you wanted and you will attach it so this is the informal way of telling somebody that i have attached the report what is the formal way what could be the formal way the formal way can be please find the attached my report now imagine a situation of asking information and how would you write an email can you write like, can you tell me a little more about? Instead of this informal way, you can write, could you give me some information about? So try to use could instead of can. That will make you sound much politer way. 
Now, suppose you need something. Then you cannot say directly, please send me this, X, Y, Z, whatever. Instead of please send me X, Y, Z direct communication or informal way of communicating, you can say, I'm interested in receiving or I'm interested in finding out X, Y, Z, whatever you need. Now, in kind of a direct or indirect communication, suppose you are requesting something, then instead of can you, you can use could you or I was wondering if you could. This is kind of a requesting someone. Now, suppose you are asking any permission, then instead of say, can I, you can say like, is it all right if then complete or instead of say could I you can say like I wonder if I could do this or I could you know work on this project XYZ as you can see I am replacing everywhere can to could to make my email writing more polite now how to make strong comments softer like suppose you can't do something then instead of saying we can't do that you can say instead i'm not sure we can do that now one more example i disagree instead of that you can say to be honest i think it might be better to and give your suggestion now let's talk about some of the closing phrases which we frequently use in an email writing. Closing phrases depends on situation to situation or the context of the email. I'll give you a few examples how to close your email. If you, are some, if you are expecting someone's opinion or reply on some email, you can reply like, please write back when you have time and, and let me know what you think. Another way of writing this, I look forward to hear from you soon. Or you can say, please have a look at the report and let me have your comments. Or please feel free to contact me if you have any question. These are some of the examples I would like to give you for closing an email. Now you can see how politely I have mentioned these points to asking for response or to asking for someone's opinion or comment or feedback. How politely we can write such strong comments. So this is how you should proceed with any email writing. I'll provide you a few links of the emails writing uh, website where you can get some more idea about the context, the scenario, how to write, how to start an email, how to close an email. Okay, so hope this small video was a little bit informative to you. All links are there in the description. Please go ahead and check it out.